so grateful. This is literally my backyard. My house is right over there. I'm so blessed to be able to be out here with you guys today. Welcome to the Real Juicy Detox. Welcome to my backyard. I'm Burns. I'm your certified detox specialist, certified by Dr. Robert Morse. I am your meditation and manifestation mentor. I am just a little girl from a little island in the Caribbean. I know, what am I doing here in all this snow, right? I'm loving my life. That's what I'm doing. I'm loving my life, baby! And I'm bringing you guys along. I am your friend. And we are here on a very crisp, snowy morning. Look at all the snow. Isn't it beautiful? These are deciduous trees in this part of my walk. I don't have any big evergreen trees down here on this part of the property. But what we do have are gorgeous, beautiful maple and birch and oak and oh, there's an evergreen all kinds of different trees all blended into a beautiful forest during the summer. You're gonna love these walks. In the summertime, oh my God, it's so green. Everything is bursting with life. Today is the day before we start our juice cleanse in the Real Juicy Detox community. If you have not seen or heard about the things that we are doing there, I strongly encourage you guys to come and take a peek. But a lot of you who are here on these videos, that's where you found out about these videos from. I lost my balance. Can you imagine when all these trees are bursting with millions and billions and trillions upon trillions of leaves? I can't wait. But for now, we've got this gorgeous snow. Look at this. Look at this fluffy white stuff. It's not easy to walk in, but we're gonna do a little hike. We're gonna get our heart rate up. So we're starting our juicy, oh, my hand is cold. We are starting our juicy 40 days for me. And it brings up a great time. It's a great time to bring up a practice that I use called a gratitude intention journal. When we set our intentions for what we want, what happens is we might set some intentions, but we don't do it consistently. And then we don't take inspired action based on those intentions. That's where a gratitude and intention journal comes in so handy. By setting some gentle intentions for yourself, like, I intend to love myself a little bit more today than I did yesterday. If you can just set some soft intentions and not worry too much about how those intentions are going to come to be, how it's going to materialize and manifest in your life. If you can instead just set some gentle intentions, babe. Just some gentle intentions for what you want. You know? Like how when I saw Dawn of the Grayson Way, go follow their stuff, by the way. Their link is in all my descriptions of all my videos. When a beautiful husband and wife team, power key team, power couple, Dawn started doing her walks. And I saw that and I was like, Oh man, she brings up a really good point. I need to get out and I need to walk a little bit more because, you know, I am the kind of person that can get really stuck in 
a habit of being in the house too much. So I set an intention last week. You know what? I'm going to get out there and walk. <clears throat> I'm going to make it a regular habit again. Because I used to go walking all the time. But really, who am I kidding? I'm a hermit. <laughs> I enjoy being in the house. I enjoy being warm. I enjoy focusing on things that are not centered outside. You know what I mean? I enjoy being warm. <laughs> but as I heal my thyroid, what I know is that I'm more comfortable with being outside in the cold than previously experienced. So I set an intention last week. I didn't set a time frame. I just said, you know what? I want to do that. I want to, I intend to get out there and get some walking done. And I intend to bring you guys along for the beautiful ride, for the beautiful experience of seeing this with me. There's a nest up there. And I'm just going to intend to do it. I don't know when I'm going to start, but I intend to do that. And within a couple of days, watch Dawn a couple of times more. I've been watching her every single day since she started posting her daily journey in our last juice cleanse, her 21 day juice cleanse. She had a little nice break into some chewing food some cooked food with her hubby Ron and now they've been raw since Sunday and it's Tuesday now fully raw loving it enjoying it and they're both about to start on the juice journey with us how cool is that you know that didn't start off all of all of a sudden for Ron nor for Dawn it took a little bit of okay let's do this but once the intention is set oh my god once you set the intention to, to really just do this thing that you've been wanting to do and you don't try to figure out how it's going to happen or predict what, when it's going to happen or try to figure out all of the multiple things that need to conspire in your favor, which is not your job anyhow. <laughs> that is not your job. It is not our job to figure out how any of this comes to pass. It is just our job to be setting the intention and becoming a cooperative component to that intention. How do you become a cooperative component to the thing that you want? That's not here yet. Well, I wanted to start walking, but it wasn't here yet took a little bit of massaging you got to massage your vibration baby that's right you got to massage your vibration up there I wasn't ready to start right when I set the intention I mean I really wanted to do it but I wasn't ready it took me a few days to warm up pardon the pun to warm up to the idea of doing that you know so the first and most important thing that we need to do Instead of setting a goal, because that could be like really tricky. You know, it could be really tricky setting a goal. Why? Well, that's really easy. Because we've set so many goals before and we've failed. We've set goal after goal at this time. This time I'm going to get my act together. This time I'm going to really, I'm really going to do it. And what ends up happening, oh my goodness is that oftentimes we're trying to build a house, but we don't have the tools, you know? We're working with plastic tools to build a house that requires power tools. Baby, if that is resonating with you, let's ring some bells up in here. Ring that bell. Now that we have this beautiful science 
and this beautiful truth about what to put in our bodies for really, really finally healing ourselves by finally addressing the cause of what causes all disease in the body, acidosis, toxicity, and structural damage, structural weakness. Now that we know how to address these things, we got power tools, baby. We got power tools. <clears throat> now that we know how to reprogram and rewire our subconscious mind that is responsible for 90 to 95% of what we do, what we think, how our life turns out, a lot of that stuff is subconscious. It's below the level of conscious awareness. When something is below our level of awareness, how do we tap into that? How do we unlock the potential that we have to create in our lives exactly what we want? How do we unlock? How do we unstick ourselves from the trauma that we have experienced in our lives? And some of you, God bless you, we talked about it in this morning's class. Oh my gosh, some of you are really dealing with some absolutely horrific trauma that one should never ever have to experience in their life look at all the geese out there on the on the river how do you get out of that how do you stop you know putting those thoughts and those emotions how do you stop that record from going around and around and around and around in your head how do you stop that meditation you got to do the emotional and the spiritual work. You just do. There's no, there's no two ways about it. You know, you absolutely, absolutely must take all of the steps. Use all of the power tools, baby. Use all of the power tools that you have at your disposal. Meditation, so powerful. Gratitude and intention journals so powerful you know these are your power tools these are your power tools to help you be really super successful in everything that you do and I believe you have to really start with the intention what are you intending? What do you want to intend in your life? It's so much easier than saying, I have a goal. What's my goal? You know, it's good to have goals. Have those goals. Make them clear. Make them extremely elaborate because the universe has a way of filling in all of the details and you'll step back after your manifestation is is complete and you will say oh my god oh my god this is better than anything i could ever have dreamt this goes beyond my expectations this is pure magic pure magic i couldn't have dreamt it this good I could not have dreamt it this good. When I look back at my intention journal, as I was just doing before I came out here today, I was reading my intention journal. From last year, maybe the year before. Yeah, the year before. So cool. <laughs> Those details filled in you guys better than I could have ever thought some of my intentions were I intend to be in more service to more people I could never have imagined it would have turned out the way that it did with all of you here so incredible so incredible I'm going to remind you that you are not in this alone babe I want you to know that Okay, I got the power tools for you. I got the power. 
I got the power. I got the power for you, baby. I got the power for me. It is here for all of us. We're gonna ride this all the way home. All the way home. Make your intentions, set your intentions, and then let it go, baby. Let it go. Just do what you wanna do that day. Whatever is presented in front of you, do what makes your heart sing. Do what makes your heart sing. Do what your beautiful heart desires. Of course, take care of your responsibilities, but oh my God, great things are here for us. I love you all so much. I'll see you again soon.